Well, at least it wasn't as bad as that one time when a border officer stuck his hand down my pants and he wasn't reaching around the back. That is a beautiful, beautiful pizza. What a place. Uh, hey there, I'm Rafael Di Furia and welcome back to another Friday night. But as a strict meditarian, I wouldn't know of such things as I am of the belief that veggies are the food that food eats. But before we get into the meat and bones of this video, pun totally intended, I've got to admit that this has probably been one of the most easy but difficult videos for me to put together. At least that first part, that little montage, I have to say it is so surreal to look back on my life, on the past five years of my life, all just scooped up into a couple of minutes. Something that I had worked half of my life towards by, by the time that I got here, something that it was a huge goal, like the ultimate goal that I'd ever had for myself. And not that things were downhill, but it was just kind of like, all right, what are the next goals? But um, yeah, by the time that this is up and online, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but uh, because as of recording, I'm still living in Italy. But by the time this is up, that will no longer be the case. This definitely was not part of my plan. Uh, I don't even really know where to start, but basically there's a couple things I want to get into in this episode, kind of why I'm leaving, as well as a couple of questions like, for example, um, about Rovigo, where I currently live. And it's a common question that I often hear about uh, on, on videos uh, in the comment section or private messages, people asking, hey, I'm thinking about buying property in Italy or so on and so forth. So a lot of, a lot of ground that I want to try to cover in this episode. If you're tuning into the audio only version of this episode, uh, be sure to check out the YouTube episode this week because that will have a montage with what I'm talking about this, this past period of my life here. So <laughs> you'll get a little bit more of the context of what I've said so far. But anyway, so 
my plan was to stay in Italy long term, like really long term, rest of my life kind of long term. And part of moving to Italy for me was having it as a nice jump off position to be able to go and travel and go and uh, be able to get around Europe quite easily. I mean, this is, if you saw my last episode or listened to the last episode, I talked about that uh, plans happen. And I wasn't necessarily talking about the 2020 through current year situation, but I was talking more about life and work and those things kind of get in the way. But just as I was getting ready to travel and finally make some of those plans that I'd had for so long, 2020 came around. Changed everybody's lives. I know it definitely changed mine. That's not necessarily why I'm leaving. It's, I wouldn't say it's a connection directly, um, even indirectly. It's difficult to say that it would be the reason why. But definitely I would say that the Italy that I live in now is not the same Italy that I arrived in, and neither is the world. The world has changed significantly in these past two years. And I will say there is part of me that needs a little bit of a break and that needs something a little bit fresh. But that's, again, not the reason why uh, I've left or will leave. Uh, well, by the time this is up, it is past tense, current recording time, future. Uh, so the reason, the, the main reason why I'm leaving is because I have a couple of elderly family uh, members that, uh, that I'm pretty close with. And earlier this year, one of them had an accident and uh, there was, it was life-threatening, rushed to the hospital. I mean, I'm just really rushing over it quickly. Uh, but it was like, we were kind of told like, hey, <laughs> you better be at peace with things um, as the family of this person. Um, they were hospitalized for a few weeks, maybe a month or so. And during that time, uh, these family members of mine had been doing some thinking about whether they would, wanted to be in Italy or not, uh, because I'm not the only person in my family who moved to Italy after getting Italian citizenship. Uh, normally, I don't talk so much about my personal life or the life of uh, those around me, uh, but just because of how relevant it is to what's going on here while still protecting everybody's privacy. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, um, because not all of life is pizza, pasta, and amore as a strict pizzatarian. <laughs> Just had to get that in because, of course, stocking stuff for season. It is getting there. RafaelDeFortiates.com slash NYAG gear. But anyway, back to kind of what I'm talking about. So out of nowhere, once this family member was out of the hospital and things were back to normal, uh, I kind of got it out of the blue that my family was choosing to relocate out of Italy because there are some things here that are not the easiest for them, especially uh, as English only speakers, really. I mean, they can understand a bit of Italian. Communication is a little bit difficult, but um, they like one of them could get by. But even from a social perspective, like there's not really a ton going on here for non like a non-native speaker or somebody who's not necessarily going out to the bars all the time. But I'm not saying like that really is the only thing going on here in the town where I live, but that's certain social aspects. Anyway, um, so the family member who was in the hospital decided that they would like to seek health care elsewhere. And um, the healthcare here in Italy is fine. It's, it's actually great. But because of the language barrier, it does make certain things difficult. And there's a doctor that is a family friend. And there's a lot more comfort to go and deal with that doctor. So, um, <laughs> I mean, basically, it's it, going to someplace that's familiar. Language is a little bit more familiar. And uh, there's a little bit more going on that, that there's friends and people around that uh that are already kind of in the vicinity at least so it'll be very nice for them theoretically i could stay here in italy if i wanted to it not theoretically like practically speaking i could it wouldn't be a problem for me but family is number one to me there's nothing that will ever come before family uh even 
my dream of staying and remaining here in Italy, which has always been like super top priority. I really do value these individuals. They're very important to me. If, uh, if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be who I am now. And it's not easy. It's still not easy because there is that part of me that would love to stay here. But because of the age and because of certain things, I would like to make sure that I can keep an eye on everybody and help with the transition just because for communication and helping to get settled and organizing things on the other end and all of everything, it's easier for me than it would be for them, especially because they're not the most tech savvy and getting around and making things happen and doing things. It's easier for me. I'll just say that. But uh, I was organizing the move for them and I was looking into various factors and I was seeing that relocating for me could be a legal way of lowering my taxes and to lessen that burden as somebody who's trying to build a business uh, because my business is mostly location free uh, that I can roughly be wherever I need to be. And so from a tax perspective, Italy, there are certain benefits to being here, like my tax file that I have currently. I have a really great program in place for like a five-year period, but after this five-year program is over, then everything goes up by a significant amount. So theoretically, I should be able to lower my taxes, which is something that when looking at that, it started to become attractive. It, it wasn't any kind of like the main reason why I wanted to go again. It was all because of the family. If it weren't for family, I'd be staying here, like no question about it. But um, I was looking into all these different factors and even starting to organize the move for them to get everything taken care of, organizing uh, flights and these all the different kinds of things. Like it's a whole big list. I'll probably do a, an episode because not your average globetrotter is continuing. I will continue to make content about life in Italy and living in Italy, living abroad. I will continue what this project originally set, was set out for. Also, for those of you who are subscribed to the, the uh, Italian Citizenship Podcast and the Italian Real Estate Podcast uh, that I do with uh, Marco Permunian, the Italian attorney, who's also here in Rovigo and actually part of how I ended up here, uh, we are continuing that project. Like I've spoken about this with him and both of us really want to make sure that information still continues to go out. There's a lot that we still have to say. There's episodes that we have recorded that are ready to be edited and ready to go. Um, like that is not changing that is, the plan for the time being is that those are still going to continue to come out. Uh, I theoretically depending on the current global situation. Uh, the plan is that I would come back maybe at least a few times a year, depending, uh, to come and record in person. Maybe we'll record some distance episodes. But um, anyway, back to <laughs> everything else. When I was organizing the move for them, I saw that adding an additional person, because at first I was looking for moving two people abroad. Then I was saying, well, you know, <laughs> not your average globetrotter. It's, it's a project about getting around. And for me also, the idea behind not your average, that part of the name, was that I'm not huge on travel. I do enjoy it, but I like to stay in one place for a long time and to really take it in, to really enjoy it. And I, I would hope from these 200 plus episodes that that would be apparent by now. I think we're getting close to what two. This must be like 218, 219, maybe 220. I'm not sure off the top of my head, but getting close to that 220 mark. And for me, I, my plan was to stay in Italy. That was the plan from the get-go. But life, you never know what's going to happen. Anything, literally anything can happen. And your plans can change. For better or for worse, mine have. I kind of hate it in a way, but at the same time, I'm very excited for this next journey, this next adventure, this next bit of globe trotting. And uh, yeah, I mean, 
of course, like uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do another future video about where I'm going to be moving to. And there's going to be aspects of the project that I have to organize in my head how I want to proceed because I do have the internal debate whether I should discuss where I'm moving to or not, only for the simple reason that in Italy, because of this project that I do, I have faced some non-positive uh, moments and, and situations because of the content that I create. Been stalked, had people come to my home, harass me and harass people that I know to try to get to me, people to try to get me fired from work that I've had. I mean, <laughs> here I thought I made pretty uh, vanilla content and apparently some people are not crazy about it. So I do have that thought in the back of my mind. Uh, it's something that I think I'm just going to get over and because there's plenty more to talk about because there are still plenty of discussions to be had. And really, like I said, continuing to speak about Italy is something that I do plan to do. Regarding updates on Italy, that is something that I would like to continue. The only difficulty is that when talking about the news and certain situations currently developing and going on, that's something that YouTube doesn't seem to be the craziest about. And unfortunately, things happen with some YouTube channels uh, getting pushed down in rankings or it's a whole thing. I, I'm not gonna get it into this video, but YouTube does give preferences to mainstream news media. And hey, that's their prerogative private company. They're doing what they need, that they feel is the best thing to do. And so I would like to continue with those updates. I just have to figure out what is the best way for me to do that. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I haven't been making so many updates more recently. Not that there's been a huge amount of changes other than maybe one major detail that probably a lot of you have already heard about by now. So let's see how things go. Um, I will admit also when it comes to making those updates, it's something that I know there are a lot of you that do feel as though it helps and that you really enjoy that to hear about what's going on from like that perspective. Uh, but I will say that it takes a toll on me. I, I, I'm not a fan of that subject and that subject matter. I'm, I'm burnt out on it and prefer not to get too deep into it. I mean, of course, like you have to be aware of what's going on in the world, but I rather not spend too much more time around it than I have to. So Again, like there are certain things about how this project will move forward that I have to consider and have to take into account. Italy's still going to be part of the project, though. Let's let's not. Uh, that's why I keep repeating myself here because I feel like somebody's going to misunderstand. Oh, he's leaving Italy. He's not going to talk about. It. He's not going to do this. He's not going to. No, I may not be in Italy, but this project is continuing, and so is the Italian citizenship and real estate podcast. These all are continuing. And like I said, if it weren't for my current personal situation, my family situation, and my feeling that I really need to be there for my family, I would stay here probably. It would be fantastic to be able to do so. But like I said, for me, family comes first. And this is what my family members have elected to do for their health and uh, to, uh, to take care of themselves. So... What can I say? That's, that's really what it comes down to. I'm leaving here with a good taste in my mouth and I will miss it, but I'll be back. Like that's not a question in my mind at, at, the, at the very least to come and visit. Uh, I will admit that I don't know if I have another international move in me. This might be the last time that I move internationally, I hope. Because I will say that moving in general is one of the things that, there are a few things that I hate more in life than moving, but an international move, that's another level on top of everything, but then an international move with everything currently going on, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, anyway, thank you all so much for your support through these years and for your continued support for this project about life in Italy, living abroad, Italian dual citizenship, and more that will be continuing here 
on YouTube, as well as the audio only podcast and also on Instagram and Facebook and social media. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey. And to those of you who I've met in person because of this, it's been an honor and I am so grateful for every opportunity and for every moment that I've been able to experience because of this project directly or indirectly. The people that I've met in person, the people who I've been in contact with uh, through email or Facebook or private messages, and for those of you who've shared your lives with me and who've told me about what you've gone through and what you've experienced and how you've mentioned to me that some of this content has been life changing and allowed you to be able to move forward with getting Italian citizenship. And that was one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to team up with Marco to do the citizenship podcast, because I knew that there was so much more that we could do in that avenue, in that respect, on that subject, because... I can talk a lot about it, clearly, but he also has a lot to say, a lot of great information uh, regarding the subject, and even having been contacted by news agencies like to, to talk about what's going on here. I mean, that's been a trip and a half to be that person. <laughs> and even having some of you send in pictures of your TVs like, hey, I was watching the news tonight and like you were there. <laughs> And that even that I don't know if I've mentioned it in any of these episodes. I think I may have in the past, but there's one story that always sticks out to me about a woman, an elderly woman in America whose family had died many years ago and who felt disconnected from everything, everybody for so long because she was the only one she had in her life. Then she had found these videos and found out about getting Italian citizenship. She had pursued getting it and had then got citizenship all throughout this, this period and was planning to come to Italy and meet long lost relatives that she had no clue about before. And so she attributed that to some of these videos. And so she, I mean, this is just a very short version, but it really touched me. And that's only one of hundreds, maybe thousands of stories that you guys have shared with me. I mean, it's been unbelievable to hear. And I look forward to hearing many more stories as time goes on. So thank you so much for joining me for another Friday night, for another episode of Not Your Average Globetrotter. Thank you to those of you who continue to support this project through rafaeldifuria.com slash Patreon, patreon.com slash rafaeldifuria, as well as the shirts, mugs, onesies, and more as well as the one-time donations. Thank you all so very, very much for being a part of my life and for allowing me to be part of yours. Stay safe and healthy out there. And I look forward to seeing you all next week. Later.